Well, I was shot in the leg and my leg froze and was yanked up. Um, a second bullet grazed me next to the knee, it was aimed for the knee. And uh, after a little while I managed to get out of there into a safer, get into the cabin and walk down the stairs where I'd, been, where I'd collapsed and um, uh, woke up with, their, with all the aid workers around me, um, just trying to cut, a, cut, pull down my pants and stop the bleeding. I'd lost tons of blood, my artery had been cut and it uh, looked like there was some fracturing on the bone, that's what they said at the time. They carried me over to one of the chairs and laid me down there. Um, all I could see was just panic and chaos everywhere, people running, um, people screaming from stairs, bringing in more bodies, just all types of people. Cameraman had been shot in, in the hand, the man who was holding a hose, a water hose, had been shot in the left and then the right, or, and somewhere in the chest, I think. Uh, a man who was um, in charge of the internet was shot point, point blank straight in the head. Uh, they were just dead everywhere. Um, there'd been a man shot in the face f five times. Been a 19 year old killed. Um, it was just, it was absolute horror. Um, in an Israeli hospital, uh, the operation was done, was given the basics and really a lot of thanks to the Australian First Secretary in the embassy. She stayed with me and made sure I was protected. Uh, I'd been interrogated quite harshly twice by some of the soldiers who were on the boat. Um, so, but more than the treatment in Israeli hospital, the treatment when the soldiers overwhelmed after the brutal force, after, when they overwhelmed the ship, um, from then on until I got taken to Israel was an absolute disaster. It was much worse than um, the injury itself. They were kicking me, kicking my wounds, um, strapping me up, picking me up and dropping me, mocking the whole time. They had their guns pointed at us, they had their dogs come in. They were just trying to humiliate us and rub it in as much as they can in the most aggressive and brutal way that um, I could ever, I've ever seen in my life and I could ever expect. You just can't believe it. Like, we, we can tell you what happened all day, but uh, it's something you would never believe unless you see it with your own eyes, to be honest. That even the treatment in prison was horrible. Like, I see a man on the ship and he has no injuries. I see him later in the detention centre and his face is red. It's covered in dry blood and he has a bandage around his head and he's cuffed. Like, the treatment in prison was horrible as well. It didn't, it didn't stop on the boat. The, the harsh treatment didn't stop on the boat. It continued right until we left. Even in the airport, there were still uh, injuries going on there. One girl, uh, a soldier, I think a policeman, a policeman hit a woman three times in the face and then grabbed her hair. This is a man fighting a woman. Like, their treatment of us was just completely unacceptable and I've never met anyone whose heart has become so hard and so black in my life.